Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. First of all, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Robin Reed Multivitamins. Cheers Robin, thank you very much. If you need any multivitamins or stuff like that, go online to Robin Reed's uh, website. So, cheers Rob. Uh, Derek Chisora. He's running around saying he wants to fight in Bellinator and do MMA and stuff like that. Uh, somebody's obviously got into his head. Derek Chisora is a boxer. He's not going to have a chance, is he? But So somebody's, somebody's whispering in his ear. I'd put it down to David Hay going like that in his ear. If Usek beats you, will get you in Bellator. Bellator, whatever it's called, or whatever. We'll get some more money because it's about me pimping you out, Derek. That's what I am doing. I am a pimp and you're my bitch. Uh, Derek Chisora wouldn't have a chance in anything like that. He'd get took down, choked out, bashed up. He'd get kicked all over. Dylan White would have a chance because he's ex kickboxer and his legs would be like concrete. But trust me, it's no joke. Them, them, them uh, MMA guys, UFC guys, they're no joke. They're just. More with Marlin, wouldn't they? Have you seen? Look, if anybody wants to have a look at a boxer against him, an MMA guy, go and watch James Tony versus Randy Couture. James Tony, one at best of his generation, against Randy Couture, one at best of his generation. He took him down within 20 seconds and choked him out. That's just what happens. But James Tony got paid half a million for it and. This is what boxers do when they can't go to the well no more at boxing. People get in their ear and say, oh, you ought to do this. Because everybody's an expert, aren't they? Everybody in a boxer's ear is an expert. When the boxer goes home at night, the trainer's not with him. But he's got people around him gassing him up. You ought to do this, you ought to do that. This is, this is part of the problem. And um, before you know where you are, the tail's wagging dog. It's the trainer who's, who's got the boxer's ear all day when he's training him. But like I've just said, once that fight goes home, you don't know what's happening, do you? David A doesn't train Derek Chisora, but he's always telling him to do this and do that. Oh, you need to eat this. Oh, you need to go on this training program. Oh, you need to fight this person. Look, he's got in his ear. And Del Boy, he's one of them, and he loves a pound note, doesn't he? But Derek Chisora would get embarrassed in MMA, and he might be a tough kid, but he'd get embarrassed in MMA, wouldn't he? And uh, I like Derek Chisora, I think he's a great fighter, but he's a spent force, and he? he's had 90 feet, he's a lot of miles on clock. Everybody who said he, said he were finished after Tyson Fury beat him, everybody the second time, everybody said he were finished after Caballero schooled him in Monaco they all said he were finished but he's hanging in there because he's got the right people like Eddie Earn making moves to him hasn't he? and Sky but he's done a lot of PR hasn't he? and flipped tables over and freaked out and all that but the proof will be in the pudding won't it but if Usek beats Derek Chisora watch for Dillian White against Chisora free the third fight a rubber match so but Derek Chisora needs to stay away from MMA but um, it's one of them things isn't it when you got people in your ear all telling you what you should do you should do this you should do that and whatever you know what I mean so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing don't have nightmares